good blessed afternoon, man. Um, I'm gonna upset somebody. I'm gonna upset some people with this one. But um, I always knew something was funny about Black Lives Matter. And then I started digging and doing my research in it. <laughs> you ever wonder why it's called Black Lives Matter? Once I started looking into it, uh, BLM, Baal or Baal in the Bible, B A A L, Baal or Baal, however you pronounce it in the Bible, L, Lucifer, Satan, M, Moloch, another principality in, in the world of darkness. And there was just a, a broadcaster that came on and talked about how. Um, their motto is say their name say their name now when we die um, when we die a judgment is set we don't come back here you know we pass on to judgment and God judges us he holds us accountable for the actions that we've done throughout our lives and um, you know he sends us to you know hell or heaven and like I said, when he sends us to hell, you, you're waiting. <laughs> you're waiting in hell to be thrown in a lake of fire. You know, when you go to heaven, you uh, you're waiting to pass through those pearly gates. Either way, you ain't coming back here. So when people are saying, "Say their name, say their name," what these, what they were saying, what they said on the video is, uh, it's it's like they are. Uh, summoning these spirits it's like it's a seance so it's witchcraft which we all know is you know it, it, it's, it's of Satan uh, necro ne necromancy uh, that's what they call it trying to subsequently summon the dead um, so I know I'm gonna get hate on that one uh, but br but bring it on bring it on you know I would not be I wouldn't be a good follower of Christ, you know, if I kept my mouth shut on a, a lot of different things. Which, to be honest with y'all, I had a time to do videos on every single thing, but this is something that I definitely felt in my spirit that had to come out. Um, because Jesus himself was outspoken about the things. Um, when they turned the ch when they turned the church into a darn flea market. It outraged them. It outraged them. And I was in an argument with someone on Facebook. They was like, well, if he's the son of man, he should be able to keep his emotions in check. And I was like, where in the Bible did it say that Jesus didn't feel? Why do you think God came in the form of man? He came in the form of man to understand how we felt. But also because he, he got tired of us falling to our iniquities and going to hell. So he came in the form of Jesus, which is the son, to take back the keys to heaven so that we may have eternal salvation. But going back to Jesus and his emotions, he was upset because of what they were doing in his father's house. So when he found out, he came in and he flipped over tables and, he, and, and you know he said, this is what you do in my father's house. Yo, how, how dare you defile his house? Yo, out of everybody, he understood what God was, what God had done for us, and most of all, the sacrifice that he, the sacrifice that Jesus was making to come here and to set right what we couldn't get right, what Adam and what what Eve messed up and coerced Adam into. So I want people to pay pay close attention to what's going to happen over these next few months. You know, pay close attention. And I want you guys to really get in your Bibles. Give God a page a day and give him a prayer every morning. Talk to him. Invite him in your life. I say, I I, I pray for people and, and they don't even know. They don't even know I'm, I'm behind the scenes just praying for them. You know, they, they don't know sometimes God has me in, in, in prayer for, for, for hours just praying over people. They don't, and, and they don't even know. <laughs> You know, some people cuss me out. Some people say, well, you ain't this and you ain't that. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Watch God work. You, you ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing nothing, devil, but let me know But let me know that God is moving. Let me know that uh, the prayers of the righteous avail of much. 
So, you know, um, so I'm like, yo, I, yo, I don't, I'm not worried. I, I'm not worried. You know, God gave gives gives us His promise in Psalms um, 41, which I, I spoke about earlier. He gives us His promise. And he gives us so much more to those that follow him and follow his will and follow his word. Now's the time to make that change. Now's the time to stop. Um, I'm going to move. My phone's going to overheat. Now's the time to stop walking around like you God. Now's the time to cut all that out like, oh, yeah, well, you a God. You a God. You a God. No, you're not a God. You're not. And I, you know, I, I, I hate to see people say that. When people say, "Oh, well, I'm a king, I'm a god." Man, no, I'm not. I am a man. I will tell you, I am a man. I'm not a god. You know, um, there's only one God, and I, I, and I know that to be true, based off of how He's manifested in my life, based on how He's blessed me in my life, and how He continues to bless me. You know, I, I, I. I've seen the things that people have prayed against me and I've heard the uh I've heard the wicked tongues that have come against me. And I can tell you from personal experience, God has cut all those wicked tongues off. All those wicked tongues that have formed against me uh to go against the will of God for my life and my destiny, God has reversed those tongues and has condemned them in their lives through sickness, through poverty, through homelessness, through, uh, you know, spirit of infirmity, you know, generational curses. You know, in the Bible, it tells us that Jesus became a curse for us. So for those who follow his word and believe in him, Jesus has already become a curse for, for you. And what that tells me, plain and simple, is vengeance is mine, thus saith the Lord. God will take down my enemies for me. I don't have to lift the finger for you. You know, um, I don't have to argue with you. I don't got to go back and forth with you. I made my I made my point clear, and that's what God sent me sent me to do. When Moses went to go speak to the Pharaoh, when God told Moses in in, uh, in the book of Judges, you're going to go before the you're going to go before Pharaoh, and you're going to ask him to free my people. Moses had a stuttering problem. He had all these issues. He went to God and said, "Man, why can't why can't Aaron go? Because Aaron knows how to talk to these people." So. And God is like, I didn't pick Aaron, I picked you. But it was because God was building Moses to be in that position of leadership, to lead his people out of Egypt. But because Moses was obedient, what is going on today? Here I go, people just people just start pouring around me. Um, every time this camera go on, um, but back to Moses, uh, God was, you know, Moses did not want to do what God had called him to do because he was afraid of it. I'm not afraid. You know, God, God has, God has put me in a position. I'm going to say what I got to say. I don't care what you do after that. God told me I got to put a message out and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the message out and I'm going to use what's in my hands to do it. You can take the message or not like the message. You know, we can have a conversation about it. Or we cannot. I'm going to say everything that I need to say that God has put me out here to say. And that's what Moses had. That's what Moses had to get in. Had to get in him. God sent Moses back to Pharaoh four or five times. Each time God said, I'm going to harden the Pharaoh's heart. I'm going to harden the Pharaoh's heart. I'm going to harden Pharaoh's heart. And Moses like, well, then why do you keep sending me back there if you're going to harden the Pharaoh's heart? And... You know, God didn't necessarily reveal it to him, but he kept going back and kept going back and kept going back. And what happened is God built Moses to be the set to be the leader to be the leader to lead his people out of Egypt into the promised land. But Moses had to have faith in the word that God had given him and to be and to constantly go back just to be told no. The fact that God was building him every time, every time, every time, every time God got that rejection, every time Moses felt like he got that rejection. God's like, this isn't a rejection. This is not a rejection because I keep sending you back for a reason. That stuttering problem that you have, by the time you get done, it's going to be done. It's going to be cured. That um, that uh, that lack of confidence in yourself that you have, uh, I keep sending you back. Each time you come back, that confidence is going to be built. So God built Moses up. 
for his will. And it was the best thing that ever could have happened to Moses because he completely transformed Moses from a man that stuttered and wasn't confident in himself and that, and, and that was suffering from the spirit of rejection to a man that to, to a man of legend. You know, Moses was uh, Moses was so popular that when Moses died in the wilderness, God hid the bones of Moses so that the people would not make an idol to Moses. And that's a testament to the glory of God right there. That's a testament to what God is trying to do in you and me. You know, a lot of people like to think that, okay, hey, I'm going to talk over you. Ha, 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 I'm going to talk over you. I get the last say. I'm going to let you do that. And I want you, I want you guys to do the same thing. I'm going to let you get the last say. I'm going to let you say whatever you want to say. But you heard what I said. And I, and I was sent here to do a message from God. And this isn't nothing particular, but I want, I, I'm want i giving this out to somebody because I know God put it on me for a reason. So there's somebody out there that maybe, maybe is scared to go out there and do something. Maybe scared to go out there and say something. Maybe scared to uh, apologize. Maybe scared to, I don't know, cross the street or something like that. As long as God, as long as you have God go before you and he's giving you the task or the mission to go out there and give that word, to go out there and put that out there, you put that word out there and you do what God has told you to do and you go home. The funny thing is we get so caught up and well, what's this person going to think? What's this person going to think? Oh, I'm scared of this person. God's word does not return unto him void. What he promises you will come to pass. Man cannot give you what God can. God promised you. Right, here's an example God put on me. You know, man will tell you, okay, well, if you do this for me, I'll have this girl. Uh, and I'm a guy, so that's why the ref is this way. Ladies, adjust it to how you like it. You know, so um, when I was talking to God, this reference came on me. He's like, so man will tell you, uh, well, ladies, if you, if uh, well, guys, like, if you do this for me, the devil will give you this woman for uh, 10 years or five years before she, you know, before she kills you or, 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 or does whatever, leaves you. We'll say that before she leaves you. What God has for you, if you follow his will, get in his word, pray to him, pray for other people, bless people. When you truly take on, when you truly walk in salvation, when you truly walk as Christ himself walked, as Jesus walked, as he lived. God promised you not only everlasting life when you exchange time for eternity, but he promises you guys, he promised you a help meet while you're here. So not only are you here on earth doing his work, being blessed while you're doing his work, because God is a provider for you abundantly. Ladies, he's providing, he's providing you with a help mate. He's providing you with a priest, prophet, and king to lead you. And as his second in command, as his partner, you are there to also facilitate the will of God. And guys, you are there to help your help me facilitate the will of God. And that's why the devil hates marriage so much. And that's why God blesses marriage so much. That's why God gives so much favor to the married. Because you truly have so much more power than you would if you were by yourself. But uh, this video is going on a little bit longer than I expected. I didn't expect to come back on here with a second video, so I, I definitely praise God for it. And I want to thank God. I got a praise report um, from uh, I got a praise report for someone I had the opportunity to minister to, and I checked in on him today. Um, his son was uh, his son was uh, was struggling with some drugs, so um, you know I gave I uh, God led me to give him a prayer uh, that I sent to him, and I said, hey, this is what. Um, you know, just God needs you to fast. He needs you to do a 24-hour um, dry fast, and he needs you to go over this prayer. And I forgot, but he also needs to get his son baptized too. Um, but I, I'll let him know. Um, but I got a great praise report for, from him. And uh, he said, man, I thank you so much for that. You sent me that prayer. Um, I'm, I'm sure he did the fast. And I'm sure he did the 24-hour dry fat. And he was like, man, after I did that, he got he you know he got clean. He's going on a detox. And I'm like, man, he's like, man, I thank you so much for that, brother. And I was like, man, that was nothing but God in you. He just used me to get the message to you as far as what you need to do to unseat the uh, to unseat what was binding your son in that addiction. 
And I'm like, it's gonna be a hard road to travel, but you keep praying, man. And and you know, if you if you need me, I'll get with you and pray with you. You know, I will. Uh, so I wanted to give that prayer support today, um, cause God really God is moving, man. God is moving, and you know, if you guys don't get with him, if you guys don't get with it, uh, he's gonna leave you behind. He really is. So uh, I plead the entire armor of God over the views of this video, myself, my family, so that we'll be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy, Father God, in Jesus' holy name. And I also plead the blood of Jesus over my children, Father God. Give them a hand of protection around them as well, Father God, during these trying times. In Jesus' holy name, I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, uh, being a part of the family, subscribing to the channel, man. Like God has blessed me abundantly and he's continuing to bless me abundantly but you guys uh continue to be blessed man thank you for tuning in